you're looking at here is our new project. And the son's gonna play a few games with us. Um, I've been looking at 10 or 15 boats and I decided to pick this boat. It has a very unique story. And uh, this is a 1995 20 foot, eight inch Viper Cobra bass boat. All right, um, I took the windshields off of it so nobody would break them or take them for now because uh, we're outside. But as you can see, this boat absolutely needs everything. Um, we've got, you know, tree branches and leaves and all kinds of, you know, fix a flat. And uh, so let me tell you why I chose this boat. This boat is, um, it's a John Story boat. So the story goes, John Story worked for Champion Boats. And when John Champion was let go or quit or whatever happened there, the bottom of this boat is based on the Ranger 462 model. That's the story I got so far. I'm going to research this some more so I can get the total accurate story on where this transom came from. So let me show you a few couple things here. This boat has surge brakes. The trailer is not C-channel, it's actually boxed framed all the way. It's box frame all the way. So the trailer alone, and this will all wash up, and if it needs paint, we'll paint it. But anyway, we're gonna go through this whole thing. I believe this is powder coated because it feels like powder coating to me, but it's in really good shape and it will clean up. <clears throat> um, Obviously, the spare tire that goes there, that'll have to be straightened out, and then we'll, uh, we'll weld a, a center bolt in there. But uh, the rub rail obviously has the old rope from 1995, but we're going to replace it with the rubber. We'll replace it with the uh, rubber bead instead of that rope. As you can see, it's heavily faded, and then somebody tried to clear coat it with automotive clear. Okay, the decking is all uh, super spongy. Hang on one second, let me. So you can see, see it moving. So anyway, we're gonna have to replace the deck and we're gonna start that tomorrow. But the real reason I bought the boat <clears throat> is this reason right here. The nose of this boat is so long it's about nine feet from right here, right here, to the nose of the carpet up there is nine feet. Okay. And uh, like I said, it's a 20 foot, eight inch boat. You know, and then the rest of it, of course, is in the rear here. But uh, I bought it because it's a double council. Okay. And the floor down there is squishy. So we're going to redo the floor and redo the, the, the nose piece up here, which is wood, but we're gonna do some encasing with some uh, different things. Now, all the lockers, this is why I bought the boat. <clears throat> all the lockers are aluminum, the locker lids. They're all aluminum. Um, as you can see, the carpet used to be gray. And we're going back to the same exact gray and then um, we'll put all new gaskets. And then we'll, of course, uh, redo all the carpet inside the lockers too. But here's the thing, this, these lockers are aluminum. I'll show you right here. See, they're aluminum. These are very easy, very easy to carpet. They're very strong, but super light. This, this mm -hmm. lid mm -hmm. weighs a lot less than uh, fiberglass lid, but uh, anyway, these lockers will fit my big long glide bait rods, and that's what I'm looking for. So I'll probably run the tackle on this side, and then see how it's nice and finished with all the uh, all the jams. I'm calling those the jams. They're all nice, and once we get the new seals in there, these won't leak. 
but uh this boat is super strong guys um it's a uh, lightweight it weighs 1475 pounds and back here you have this is a cooler on this side see the cooler we'll clean this out that'll be a cooler for sure and we'll, look at this the non-boater puts his poles here right and then i notice this it lifts up and it goes all the way back to the back of the boat for your rods it's like when you're running down the lake you could just close that but anyway that's pretty unique that that does that i actually have some things in mind and then back here you know you got your cleats and like i said this will clean up and uh see somebody clear coated it with the automotive clear but this gel coat will clean up and any cracks you see i'm going to re-gel coat this top stripe and uh you'll sand that down and i'm going to go through the whole process we're going to show you exactly how to do this um, this motor is rated this boat is rated for a 300 we're going to put a 250 on it and so i'm also going to show you guys how to do a transom this transom right here that means that this transom is going to need to be replaced. I'm gonna walk you guys through it. See, it's cracked on both sides. I'm gonna walk you through it and we're gonna show you where to make the brake lines. We're gonna show you what to do and what not to do. There's a lot of uh, people on YouTube that are doing the wrong things. I'm not picking on anybody, but you never wanna cut this back piece ever. This is all strand from the factory. You wanna leave this back piece always. And I'm gonna show you guys how to go in here surgically and fix this. But it's going to be a really good project. And like I said, let me get a side profile of this thing. Everyone says it doesn't look like a 21-foot boat. But from the side, you actually get the perspective of it. We're going to change this to a tandem axle. But anyway, this is 20 foot 8 inches officially from nose to tail. And uh, like I said, this is going to be a good project. And I can't wait to uh, share the rest of this show with you guys. So... Anyway, thanks for tuning in today. You got your lesson on stripping automotive clear off your gel coat. Anyway, we're going to finish this up off camera. Tomorrow, we'll start taking all these accessories off and start labeling them, putting them in baggies and boxes, getting this thing ready so we can uh, start addressing the cap and the sides of the boat. The polished stuff will be here, like I said, Tuesday. And then we'll start. Oh, look, I'm, I printed out the center cap. It was missing a center cap. This is just in primer, but we're going to get this painted. we got to sand it smooth and paint it and stuff, but this will be black. It was missing the center cap. So I made that on my printer, and uh, like I said, we're going to paint it up and stuff. But thanks for watching the JFL boat series, boat restoration, boat modification, boat purification. This is your channel, JFL. I'm Brent Bridgman, your host, and we'll see you later.